Alexa, turn on kitchen lights. Time to make some coffee. The time is 8.10 a.m. Here you go. Oh, yes. We cannot start this day without some coffee. Coffee and Jesus. That's how we start our day. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for keto on the couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah, so we're headed to Omaha tomorrow and we're gonna vlog our entire day. I am sort of awake, sort of, <laughs> not quite. Sorry that we look like a hot mess, but. You look like a hot mess. I look like a hot mess. Our house definitely looks like a hot mess. I have been trying to do marathon laundry. <laughs> Just make sure that every single piece of underwear is available to us, to the children. Everybody needs their underwear. Yes. So here's what we're going to do. First, start off with coffee. Yes. You already had your drink. We're going to have coffee, shower, and then I've got to head to Costco because I need to get some ground beef and stuff so that we can meal prep so that our boys can eat while we're gone. Before even all of that, mama's got to get a little bit of Bible in or we'll kill everybody. <laughs> And I gotta get dog food because the dog's got like no food left. That may be a problem. Good morning, Roscoe. You're looking for food, aren't you? As you go through the maze of all of the junk on our counter because we're going away. Is that what you want? Come on. Here we go. What are you doing? I am making my go-go -go juice the perfect keto collagen today it's chocolate you're up chocolate which flavor is your favorite it is really hard to tell because i really like their vanilla i like their salted caramel but i thought that the salted caramel would be like my favorite like no competition but sometimes i really like vanilla and sometimes i am really enjoying chocolate in the side of your 2kk blender bottle there's only two blocks left. Can you believe that? Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Like this thing is awesome. It's actually been making me drink water because it keeps the cold stuff super cold. This is the other thing that's been having me drink water is this what Berkey? Berkey. It's just really convenient and the water tastes really good because I think we've gotten all the junk out of it. It does. And the smartest thing that I did is we actually put this thing on wheels, the stand that I built, so that when you have to fill it, you can simply wheel it off. What are you looking at? My toes are in such bad shape. Like, look at this. I don't think I painted- You really want me to show your toes? I don't, I mean, they're terrible, but- I'm it's, not Quentin Tarantino, you know. It's hilarious. I have not painted my toes since you painted my toes. I think you should use your gift card and go get your nails done. Well, today. I think I should at least take this layer of nail polish off and paint them myself at home. Like, at least I need to do that. I need to up my girly game. Well, back to the Berkey. So, yeah, we built this stand. And so it's on wheels so that this way, whenever you have to fill it, we can wheel it over to the sink instead of carrying the entire thing. Making a little breakfast for the college students this morning. This is a meal prep that I do. It's just ground up hamburger, some cream cheese, and a couple of slices of our bacon chopped up inside of it. I just make up a big batch of it, and then that way in the morning, I can just put a spoonful of it in a pan like this, and I'm gonna put some egg in there. And it makes a really fun omelet. There it is, the finished product. 
much more like a scramble than an omelet thanks to my lack of cooking skills, but it is delicious. I just topped it with a little bit of shredded cheese and sour cream and he is good to go. Joe has a Zevia wall and I have a box wall, but I wanted to prep like 60 boxes in case my brother got a bunch of orders in. The boys have very nicely agreed to do shipping for me in my absence. The price of ground beef is definitely going up. They're trying to get us to not buy meat. This is a great price. Look at this, $3 off a package. Selling price of $1.79 for some pork loin chops. Let's get some pork loin chops. We'll find a cheap one and then get $3 off. How about this one right here? $8.82. The amount of coffee that we go through in a week is insane. This bag will probably last us about a week. $18 for three pounds, so it's $6 a pound. Not too bad. How do you know when you're doing a tremendous amount of keto chow meal prep? When your butter has its own side of the drawer and they are out of the boxes to make grabbing a stick even easier. It is two o'clock and I'm gonna have my first meal. Let's see what flavors we have in here. Let's see. We only have a few left, but we're gonna make some more before we leave so that when we come home, we have some left. This is chocolate toffee. I know this one here is taco. I'm gonna have that for dinner. And I think those are raspberry. So we're gonna go with chocolate toffee. So it's 2.30 and time for my first keto chow. Today I put a raspberry cheesecake into the freezer. So let's see if the couple hours it had made it slushy. Yes, slushy. I love that. Raspberry cheesecake is a really good one for swishing around coffee inside once you've done. I love the raspberry cheesecake. I actually need to get more. That doesn't look like raspberry cheesecake to here though. Raspberry cheesecake. Somehow the animals just know when you're gonna travel. So Grayson is like all up in arms, walking around his new kingdom thinking, okay, I'm gonna be running this place tomorrow. And poor Tab gets like very depressed. They just know, they see the suitcases and they just know something is happening and it's gonna be just the animals tomorrow. How are you feeling after that one? Oh my gosh, that was ridiculous. We did 10 tricks for getting started on keto and I've never been so tongue twisted in my entire life. Yeah, we like basically, we're trying to do this and it was really important, we were trying something different and then I don't know, it took us like three hours to make a probably 15 minute video at best. Even Tabitha wants to go in her cage. She's like, I just can't. I can't adult anymore today. I'm done. Okay, just a little bit of meal prep that I did for the kids. So first of all, Anthony's got a couple of packages of our bacon. Uh, if you haven't seen that, I'll leave that video right up there on how to make your own bacon. Then we've got here probably about three pounds of ground beef. All I did was brown it up. I added a little bit of tallow because we bought 88% lean uh, ground beef. And then I added a bunch of taco seasoning, but I didn't overdo it. This way they can add more seasoning if they want. And that's just like a great thing. They can just take that, put a little bit of cream cheese, mix it with some eggs, throw in some bacon, whatever they want, but it's just something for a grab and go. Then we made uh, our Mexican shredded chicken. And this is just about three pounds of chicken breast. I threw it in the Instant Pot. It was still frozen about 45 minutes with a jar of salsa and some of our taco seasoning. A uh, link for the taco seasoning is down in the description. Then added in a brick of cream cheese, let it finish going, mixed it all up. It's a great thing. They can throw it on nachos if they want to go to the store and get some nachos, or they can just eat it off of a bowl, put it over some cauliflower rice. This meal is completely keto. Everything I made is very keto. Now, if they add stuff, that's on them, but they got plenty of food. Then Anthony and I got these uh, pork chops. The one nice thing is that Anthony knows how to cook. So Anthony's like, don't do all of the cooking because I want to do some of myself. But we got these. This was $9.49 and then $3 off. So you got all of these nice pork loin chops for just $6.50. And then finally, we have some keto chows. If they're really hungry and want something, they can grab one of these. But Rachel kind of has the attitude of, those are mine, especially because we made a bunch of chocolate toffees. Yeah, leave those alone. Those are mommies. Well, it's 7.30. And I can't believe it, but I'm just now drinking my second keto chow. It's raspberry cheesecake again. Again, I put it into the freezer and it's ready to go. Yum. 
It's almost eight o'clock and I'm still not quite done packing, but most of it's done. So I wanted to just kind of go through everything I got. Now, one of the things is when you're doing a YouTube channel and you're trying to film, so we're going to be vlogging the entire time, you have to bring so much extra stuff. I mean, I've got here, look at this. I've got an entire camera bag with our main camera, our GoPro camera. Rachel's got our other camera there. Then you've got to bring extra batteries. I've got to bring like tripods. I mean, there's so much different stuff. We have our computer, but I wanted to go over everything else we got. So I've got a big giant bag. We just bought this at Walmart and I got a big one since like you have to pay so much money for carrying luggage. I figured this way, this time we have our bags. Both of us get a bag, but maybe sometimes we're not going to be able to both bring a bag. We don't want to pay $50 a piece. We could bring one big bag. So we have that, that's got most of my clothes. Then I've got my carry-on. And like I said, I'm not a big fan of changing planes, but since we do have to change planes, my little trick is I always bring one set of clothes in my carry-on. This way, if they do lose my luggage, I've got something to change into while we wait for them to find it. Then we've got this. Whenever we travel, whether we're going on a convention or we're just going like overnight, we always bring a blender bottle so that we could mix up like our coffees or something like that. If we're going to add some collagen powder or something like that. Then we got our keto snack. So I've got some perfect keto instant coffee and just in case we don't have access to a coffee maker or something like that. We got zip fizz. Always got to bring our zip fizz. We always travel with some Perfect Keto MCT oil powder. And this way, most of the places that you're gonna go, they don't have heavy cream or some kind of keto friendly creamer. So we always bring this, it'll give us some MCT oil, it'll give us some flavor, and it'll get us going for the day. I always travel with a couple of keto bricks. What did I, oh, I dropped the, that. I always have a couple of keto bricks. So I have this one, and then I also have a peanut butter. This is the cookies and cream. And then, We've got a couple of these Stoka bars. This is the peanut butter and jelly flavor. And then I also have a couple of Perfect Keto bars, but they're buried in. And then finally, we have some different types of like little things for the plane or in case we get super delayed or something like that. Just stuff so that we don't like make the decision to like go through the airport and maybe eat something you're not supposed to. So we have some cheese crackers and also some peely nuts. So it's 8.30 and I think I'm about packed. Most of my stuff is in my suitcase. I still have to like charge batteries on this camera, charge batteries on my main thing, charge my laptop. And then I need to go clean the kitchen because I have a bunch of dishes <laughs> after doing meal prep and making keto chows. And I have to go while you're doing that and pick up the kids from youth group. Nothing like waiting to the last minute. We won't be in bed till about midnight and then if we gotta we be up at 4 a.m. if we're lucky. I don't even know if I'll sleep. I get so excited I can't sleep. Do you yeah. guys sleep before you go on vacation? I know I don't. Usually, even if we're like making a trip to Universal, I get so excited I just never go to sleep. But I got a few more things to pack. Okay. I wanted to share these. If I was wondering what that's for. If you're gonna be traveling in a group, poopery. <laughs> We are actually staying with some other people in a house. And yeah, wow. I feel like really privileged because that stuff's expensive. We Fancy. never buy that stuff. No, but it was um, at Walgreens after Christmas. Who cares if you're like, you know, spraying Mary Spritzmas. It doesn't matter. It was 75% off. So are you treating me or are you treating the people we're staying I'm with? I'm treating them. I'm treating you people that we are staying with. You're welcome. <laughs> then what else you have? You have to have Uno. I think that every mom purse needs Uno. You don't know where you're gonna get delayed at the airport, at a doctor's office, like you have to have Uno. And I feel like Uno is the one universal card game that everybody enjoys. You know what my version of have to have Uno is? Have a backup battery for your phone and your iPad. <laughs> well, I wanna play with everybody else. And I think that this is common ground. How many of you guys love Uno? I love Uno. Well, we are going to finish packing. Rachel's gonna go get the kids. And then, I don't know, maybe we'll get a couple of hours sleep. I still have to paint my nails and shave my legs. But the next time you see us, we will be in Omaha. <sighs> I forgot to mention, we showed these earlier. We've got new mugs. So the front says two crazy ketos. The back, this one actually says so easy, Joe can make it. 
even though it should say so easy, Rachel could make it. That was uh, my editorial choice. These are gonna be up on our website. Haven't figured out the price yet because we're doing them ourselves. We're making them. But the cool thing is, is you're going to be able to customize them. So you're gonna be able to get them like so easy, Rachel could make it, or you'll be able to put your name in there. I just gotta figure out how to do that on the website. So look for that soon. And they won't be super expensive again because we're making them ourselves. Ourselves. So it is about 7.30 in the morning. We're at the airport getting ready to go to Omaha. And I was like working on the footage <laughs> for this getting packed vlog. And the final part where we kind of talked about wrapping up our day, we were so tired because it was like nine o'clock at night. Yeah that I noticed as I was editing the footage, the camera was slowly <laughs> getting closer to my face. So it got to the point where you couldn't see Rachel, you could only see me, and nobody wants to only see me and not see Rachel. Well, I want to just see you, but maybe not your nostrils. <laughs> maybe not just your nostrils. The camera got so close to my face in that shot, you could actually count my nose hairs. Aw, that's, that's kind of disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> so we got all the packing done. Rachel went and got the kids from uh, church and I just kind of collapsed for a little while. We are going to sit here continuing to wait for our flight to leave. Drinking our coffee. And drink our coffee that we paid like $4 for for a little tiny Starbucks. Totally worth it. For a black coffee. Totally worth it today. The ridiculous thing is they charge $2 more for a bottle of water than they do for a bottle of soda. Did you tell them no classic? I did tell them no classic. So. We're gonna wait and we I'll check in with you guys vlogging while we're in Omaha. Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. That way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. We'll see you guys in Omaha. Bye-bye.